The Tracer Pack Stony Sloth Bundle is now out for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Mobile, and we're going to be testing out the Tracers in both. The first thing you get is the Feeling Slothy Operator Skin for price, uh, and this skin speaks for itself. Then we've got the High Hitter for the WSP Swarm. This has Blaze Tracers and Ding Dong, your Bong Dismemberment. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be testing those out. Token and Smoke for the XRK Stalker has the same elimination effects here. We'll also see what they look like in Warzone Mobile. Then we've got a large decal, a weapon sticker, a weapon charm, an emblem, and a double battle pass XP token. Go ahead, add this bad boy to our account. The Stony Sloth Operator is for price, or the Feeling Slothy Operator is for price, so that's going to be on the Spec Crew team. Here's the attachments for the WSP Swarm. Yes, it has an ammo type on it, meaning if you take this off, you're going to lose the tracers, but it also means you're going to be able to put this ammo type and use the tracers and other weapons. Go ahead, quickly test out what camos look like on it. If they load, hello. Uh, yeah, camos cover the whole thing. What about basic camos? Uh, yeah, no point in using camos on this blueprint because you can't even tell it's a blueprint anymore. And I assume the XRK Stalker is going to do the same thing. This one doesn't have an ammo type, so don't have to worry about the tracers being removed on it. How about camos on it? Oh, you just get to see the eyes. That's, I guess, better than nothing. And it's not for all of them, but some of the camos you put on, uh, you just get to see the sloth's eyes. And that is, <laughs> that is the, oh, well, no, this camo, you, okay. So I guess it depends on the camos. Some camos you do get to see the little logo on the side. And then some of them, you just see the eyes. Here's the blueprints in game, starting with the swarm, and it does have the akimbo attachment on it. So overall, the pattern on the blueprints is kind of basic. It appears to be glowing eyes at the bottom. There's a sloth with uh, four sets of eyes down there, and they they do glow. And the uh, eyes on the side of the blueprint also glow. So if you put a camo on it, you're still going to see the glowing eyes just randomly with a camo on it, which is going to be weird. Uh, then we've got the stalker blueprint. Once again, got the glowing eyes there. Taken in a dark area, the eyes should be glowing. Not super impressed with the pattern on these blueprints, but uh, I think the main thing here is going to be the tracer. So if we shoot it. So yeah, custom sound. That's one thing Modern Warfare 3 does a lot is these custom uh, tracer sounds. Oh, you can really hear it on the XRK Stalker. So what... Uh, the impact effect oh it's a leaf as you can see it's a leaf and then it burns and it solders and it uh it, it smokes a little bit with the uh with the leaf imprint there okay go ahead full auto it on the ground oh wait we could actually draw with this hold on hold on uh we could do this right here that right there and boom i don't know i feel like we've seen tracers like this before i feel like the saint patrick's day also had i mean it wasn't a leaf it was just a clover but yeah, pretty cool looking tracers, but nothing too crazy from what we haven't seen before. All right, death effect. Please don't disappoint. Oh. It, it turns their head into a vase. And, well, that's new. We, we've had death effects that remove the head, but we've, we've never had death effects that just replace the head with a vase. What about a clat? Double vase? Ah, two vases for the price of one. And yes, I, I, I yeah, I, we're, we're, we're going to say some YouTube friendly terms in this video because this is clearly, um, this is clearly a vase. But yeah, the, uh, the death effects are so far the coolest part. This right here, definitely unique. There's no other, uh, death effect. <laughs> look at all, look at all the dead bodies, which is, which is vases on their head. Oh my um hopefully these work against zombies i hope this works in warzone mobile but uh so far my favorite part of this has to be these death effects and it also has the sounds to go with it i guess while we're here let's do a finishing move to get a better look at the sloth skin keep in mind this bundle doesn't come with a finishing move this finishing move is not part of this bundle i'm just doing it to show off the skin so don't expect to get the oh I, I got an angle at this dude over here. Yep, so there there is the, the sloth skin. It is legitimately just price in a sloth skin with uh with leaves on it is what we're getting here. Alright, let's check it out in zombies real quick. Let's get a big horn. Please tell me these death effects work on zombies. So the tracers, yep, clearly work in zombies. But more importantly, uh, do they have the uh, the vase death effect? So if we kill a bunch of zombies here. Yeah. Oh. It almost looks like it's more animated here. I feel like it wasn't as... Maybe it's because it's in a darker area, but the smoke seems way more aggressive. And I am lagging a bunch. Go ahead, check out the skin in third. And the skin's bugged. All right, well, we're going to have to get in a vehicle. 
All right, but let's get up close and personal. So you can see the death effect a little bit better because we're not one hitting everything. It's got like a smoky death effect. And then when we take them out, but oh, does it not work for headshots? Nope. So sometimes tracer effects are bugged in zombies if you get headshots. Unfortunately, if you are using these weapons effectively and getting headshots, uh, the vase doesn't appear, which is kind of annoying because in zombies, I feel like most people are hitting headshots. Either you're playing on mouse and keyboard and you're, you know, you're aiming at the head, getting a bunch of headshots, or you're using dead shots and spamming and you're getting a bunch of headshots. But yeah, these, um, these death effects do not work on zombies if you are killing them in the head, which for me, I personally only aim for the head in zombies. So a lot of times you're just not going to see the vase, which is a little disappointing from a bundle. So, I'll, so I'll show what I mean. So we kill a zombie with a body shot, vase, headshot, no vase, body shot, vase, headshot, no vase. So if you're using these weapons and zombies and you care about the death effect, you might want to aim for body shots but then you kind of lose a lot of DPS and zombies. So hopefully that gets fixed. And this isn't the only bundle that does that. There's a lot of tracer effects that have this issue. And I am, dude, the, the, the packets are bursting right now. All right. All right. We got to get to a vehicle and I, I passed it. I passed it. Okay. So, oh, oh, there we go. So to fix the bug, we get in a vehicle and boom, all this. Oh, wow. The sloth is, um, yeah, the sloth looks really weird while driving. The, 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 the sloth, I mean, it, it, it's a sloth. This is, this is Call of Duty in 2024. We are a um, sloth driving a vehicle. Get out of the car. Check it out in third person. And yep, um, it, it looks like you'd expect it to from the back. Not not really sure what else to say. It is the back of a sloth. Oh, wow. The, oh, you can see the, uh, the muzzle flash from the tracer blueprints doing this really well. Look at that. Just smoke puff. See, I, I don't... You can, I haven't even tested that, but you can see muzzle flex a lot better when in third person. We're going to have to start checking that out with more weapons. Cause I don't even see how crazy this was until we went in third person. Oh, another cool thing I didn't notice. If you look at the uh, shell casings ejecting out of the guns, they're little wrapped up pieces of paper. Yeah, look at that. L little tiny wrapped up pieces of paper. That's, um, okay. Let's see if we can get them on the ground and see what they look like. Clearly, that's exactly what that is. It couldn't be anything else besides, you know, little tiny. Okay, shoot it on the ground. Oh, did you, no. Wait, where? I think they disappear. Oh, right there. Right there. Yeah, a little, a little, a little wrapped up pieces of paper. Huh. Wonder, wonder what that can be contained in there. Warzone Mobile time. Go ahead, put on the operator skin. But not only that, Warzone Mobile has gotten an update. So now we should be able to go to the weapons here. So SMGs, it was the WSP9. Nah, nope, nope. That is not it. It was... The swarm we should go here and as you can see we can actually equip the blueprints so blueprints after the other uh yesterday's update they're working again in warzone mobile uh, on top of that go to primary weapons we are looking for sniper rifles it is the xrk stalker is this one working in here as well yes it is go ahead equip that bad boy as well all right a little bit of shipment let's go ahead take a look at the weapons also see if the death effects work so the glowing parts are definitely showing up on the weapon on this the eyes are glowing on the XRK stalker. Now what happens if we take out an enemy? Does it have the death effect? No. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, that's a, that's a different. That's the Konai emblem. That was from the other bundle that recently released. It's, it's like a mixture of the two tracers. It's got smoke, the smoke effect, and it's got the Kony death effect. I don't think it puts the vase on their head though, which is... Oh, wait, now the... Oh, the vase floats! <laughs> it's... It doesn't fall with the body. It just stays in the... So, uh, the tracers may or may not be a tiny, eensy weensy bit bugged. I doubt that they're just supposed to float in the air. But, um, yeah, wherever their head was at the time of dying is where the vase goes. All right, let's try it on the extra case doctor. Oh, look at that floating vase. Honestly, I, I kind of like this more. This, in my opinion, is cooler. Now, now people are going to be, people are just going to be wondering why there's a floating bong just chilling on the map. Like, um, is, is that a bong? It makes more sense when it's on their head. But when you come over here and you look and there's just like floating bongs in the air. I kind of, I kind of hope this doesn't get fixed because I think it's in a way funnier. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad we tested this out and I'm glad that, um, blueprints got fixed in Warzone Mobile. So now we can actually test out the tracer and death effects to see how they look. <laughs> They're still here. They're just, oh, 
There's there's just floating bongs. There's just, just how long do they stay? But yeah, that is the feeling slothy bundle, uh, the death effects and the tracers in both Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Mobile. Let me know how you feel about this bundle. The whole point of these are for me to review everything. That way you can make your own informed decision, see how everything looks. Uh, overall, probably personally wouldn't have bought this bundle because I'm not a big fan of vases and flowers, just not my thing. Um, and the tracers and death effects are cool, but it's not worth the $20 price tag in my personal opinion. But uh, I'll let the decision be up to you. That's why we showcase everything. If you want to see more of these in the future, make sure to unlock that sub button. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Peace. Lego unlock. He's Lego unlock. It's going to unlock. I guess while we're here, let's do a finishing move to get a better look at the sloth skin. Keep in mind, this bundle doesn't.